All right, so how waterproof is your RC truck? In this episode, we take a look at the Red Cat Racing Ascent Fusion and see how waterproof it really is. And we also go over a couple things that you should look for on your own rig, no matter what the model is. Anyway, let's get into it. We begin our test by driving our Ascent Fusion at the base of a local waterfall for a good 30 to 40 minutes. Honestly, with the intentions to make it fail due to water intrusion. We even left it semi-submerged for a period of time. Now, the Ascent Fusion is advertised as being waterproof, specifically the servo. From our test, the servo did not fare well and began glitching after our grueling drive. To verify it was a servo, we connected a good working servo and it acted just fine. First things first, we have to remove the servo and investigate. After opening the servo, it's very clear that moisture had gotten in. The servo motor was even corroded from all the moisture. There's what looks to be a potentiometer of sorts, which probably allows the servo to locate its position. It was moist and we think that may have been the problem, so we let the servo dry out for a few days before we reassemble it. There were signs of water intrusion on the gear side of the servo too, which is evident by the milky grease. Another source of a leak could be the seal around the output shaft, so we popped out the bearing to get a closer look. The included o-ring is definitely loose fitting and doesn't fit snug against the shaft. After letting the servo dry out, it began to work again. In an attempt to fix the seal around the output shaft, we installed a number 5 o-ring instead and it fit well and had no slot. We replaced some of the bad grease and reassembled the servo. Everything looks to be in good working order, so time for another test. As a final test, in an attempt to get a good thumbnail, we dunked the whole truck into an aquarium full of water. It took about 8 minutes to grab a shot that looked good enough and the truck was submerged the entire time. We pulled apart the servo after all this, and it was bone dry. Now, electronics are very important to keep dry, but what about the rest of the truck? Water can also get in and contaminate your differential gears and your axle bearings. In the case of this Ascent Fusion, also the portal gears. After any enduring wet ride, you need to crack open all the gear cases and make sure that they're also not affected by the water. After removing the front diff cover, it's clear that water had gotten in due to the milky white color of the otherwise red grease. In order to clean the diff really well, we pulled the knuckles and axle shafts so we could remove the diff.
The bearings and gears still look good, so we added some grease and reassembled the front axle. The portals didn't look terrible, but we cleaned them and reapplied grease here too. Using some isopropyl alcohol helps get all the parts real clean. After cracking open the transmission, water had gotten in there too, so we cleaned and regreased it as well. Next, I wouldn't necessarily consider this waterproofing, but we like to take water repelling lubricant, spray it on a cheap paintbrush, and rub it all over the chassis. This prevents rust and keeps the water off. Plus, it makes your chassis shine before placing it on the shelf. We like ACF 50 because it lasts a while, but WD 40 works well too. Something else we like to do is lubricate every ball joint, universal or CV joint, and all the shock ball joints with some oil. Now that we've covered all of our grounds with our Ascent Fusion, I would like to say that this truck is as waterproof as it's going to get for this RC crawler. In the past, I've tried sealing diffs and portal housings with RTV gasket maker to prevent water intrusion, which sometimes works, but sometimes water is just going to get in through bearings or something else. And it's best to leave things unsealed so the water can also drain out. Either way, if you're running your truck in deep water for extended amounts of time, it's a good idea to open up everything afterwards just to make sure that your important parts aren't rusting away behind the scenes. One thing we didn't touch in this video is the electronics waterproofing. The Hobbywing Motor ESC combo that comes in this truck didn't skip a beat and didn't need any waterproofing at all. As I stated in a previous video, the receiver that comes in this truck had a conformal coating and was likely water resistant. Our testing showed that indeed it was. If you have a receiver or other electronic board that needs to be waterproofed, you can paint a conformal coating on it with some MG chemical conformal coating. It's super easy and it dries fast, brushes in the cap, and you just paint it right on. If you typically run in shallower water, you probably won't have an issue, but if you're like me and my friends, we often like the submariner vehicles trying to get across streams multiple times, and no matter how waterproof you think your truck is, it's best to open everything up and just make sure everything looks good after every drive. If you leave it unattended for too long, your bearings and your gears are going to rust and the next time you go out for a run, your truck may not be in good working condition to do so. Now, if you stuck with me for this long, thank you so much. We really appreciate you. These videos and my livelihood are funded by my business, Turtle Laboratories. We make tools for the RC hobby, like the RC repair stain you saw in this video, as well as the tool organizer you see up here. We also sell metal art, parts and tools for real cars, other hobby related items, and tool organization. Use the code YTTTL to save 15% off your next order. Anyway, go to our website, check it out. Uh, we really appreciate it. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. We couldn't do this without you, and we will see you on the next video.